Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring in these um, oyster mushrooms. I've just been looking up oyster mushrooms and I had absolutely no idea there were so many different types and colours and things like that. But I found one that I thought looked quite interesting. So uh, I'm going to go for that one. It's sort of brown and it's brown and grey but I thought it looked a little in interesting. So we'll have a go at that. What I'm going to start with are these long stems. I want a light grey white. They're actually quite white. I'm going to use the warm grey too in from my polychromos to just give them a light um, colour. I don't want them to be completely white. I think that um, I'm using my artistic licence as it were to uh, just give them a little bit of colour. I think it looks a little nicer. There's a little bit of colour on them. I don't know how well you can see it. Now I know in the um, Prismacolors there are some French greys and I think they're probably more useful for this than this grey that I'm using. It's a warm grey so it's slightly brownish but it's just not quite as brown as I would have liked. But uh, I just don't have the shade that I want. So I'm just going for that. Now I am going to put a little bit of brown. I'm just trying to grab the right one. Um, this one, which is the Bistra. The tiniest bit on top, I'm gonna to press as lightly as I can. Because I want, I don't want it to look so gray. It looks slightly brown. I hope you can see, it's just got a slight tinge of brown on it. So the idea, just a very slightest hint. Now we will do more work up here, there needs to be some shadows and things, but we'll just get our base colour done first. I don't know if you can see, it's quite difficult with such a small pencil to make sure that you can see, but I am just doing an even layer as lightly as I can. And it can be hard to go lightly. It might be something that you need to practice. Now under each of these there will be shadow and in the picture it's quite dark. So I am going to grab my dark sepia which is dark and this is a sort of brownie grey colour and pop in a shadow line underneath this overlapping part and it's quite defined. So, so that's how it is in the picture that I'm copying. There we go. Now I think some of that shadow would also come down the plant just a little. So I'm going to go in more lightly and just bring some down just a tad. And the same here, just a tad. And Jan has drawn us these lines which almost indicate that that's what she wants. That's how I've interpreted them anyway. Now I'm also thinking there might be some shadow down here where they overlap. And I'm going to take this brown, the Bistra, and just go over this a little bit. Because it's too grey for my liking. Just a tad, and then it just browns it a little bit. Now the tops of these are very brown. Um, there's almost a slight reddish brown hint to them. Um, they fade out towards the edge. The ones I'm looking at are slightly different to these. Um, what I'm going to do is grab this. Oops. This is the burnt ochre. Let's put it where you can see it. There we go. 
and I'm going to use a little bit of this just on the edge here and then gently reduce that as we come towards the edge because the edges are actually white or very pale do the same on this one sun shining it's raining a minute ago silly weather now here we've got such a thin bit I'm going to use some of this or else I think it'll look a bit odd that if it's different to the others but just the littlest line and then it fades a little um, so I think this some um, new girl might help us here so we just go over what's there really gently and then fade it out towards the white edge just leave a little bit of a light edge to it Well, nearly there. There we go. That's uh, that's our oyster mushrooms done. So it was quite quick and simple, but I hope that was okay. I hope. Oops. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Um. Thank you for watching and happy coloring. <laughs>